Texas uh, and at 96 in Abilene right now, uh, that's a rain cooled 96. Some thunderstorms have moved through the, the greater Abilene area out in the big country. But look at our 107 right now. Uh, 106 in Austin, uh, same thing down in San Antonio. Look at Laredo, 109, Midlands 105, uh, Big Bend 107, El Paso 102. Phoenix right now is 109. That's pretty close to the normal high in Phoenix. It might be two degrees warmer than normal. But look at the rest of the country. Is this crazy? I mean, it's just we have had this heat dome on top of us. Certainly it's been hot in other parts of the country, but a big chunk of the United States this summer has been near or cooler than normal with our temperatures. And right now in St. Louis and Cincinnati and Springfield, uh, Missouri, 79 and 75, 77 up in Chicago. It's a desert in Vegas. It's supposed to be hot in, uh, on August 9th. San Francisco's usually, you know, what did Mark Twain say? The coldest uh, summer, I, uh, the coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in San Francisco. So, yeah, I mean, we're kind of locked into this heat dome right here in Texas. It's even cooler up in Oklahoma City where it's 92. And now we have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for Denton and Sherman and these locations off to the west, including Gainesville, Decatur, Bowie and Graham and Archer City. Uh, no severe weather uh, here north of the Red River. We have one. Montague County, a little thunderstorm. That's that little thunderstorm that blew through the Abilene area there. It's severe right now. That's west of Eastland, but just some beneficial rain. The concern I have, like yesterday, we had a thunderstorm in Jack County, and it, it caused a couple lightning strikes, caused a fire in Jack County. This is this is Jack down here. So uh, we'll continue to watch the lightning with these thunderstorms, and hopefully they won't start any fires, but please stay alert. There we are. That's right now. There's 7 o'clock. There's 8 o'clock tonight. Again, the coverage is pretty low as we head through the evening hours, but we do have rain coverage in our forecast as we head through the evening. Then overnight, we dry out with a mostly clear skies prevailing. And remember, tomorrow, the excessive heat warning continues, uh, except for the Red River counties, a heat advisory. Everyone else, excessive heat warning tomorrow. The high today, 107. That's missed the record by one degree. That was set back in 2012, but 10 degrees hotter than normal today in the morning low. At least it wasn't ridiculous like it was yesterday in the uh, morning before when we hit 86. Uh, we were very warm and muggy at 83, but at least we had the breeze this morning. And once again, the normal high, the normal low is 77. There's the 107 right now. It feels like 110 at DFW with south winds gusting up to 25. Grass and elm are moderate. Fungus today, that is low. Remember, we also had the fire danger. Red flag warning from Dallas and then west. And then uh, we have 26 counties now that are under burn bans here in North Texas. More will be added. I don't know why. I can't figure out why Collin County, Collin County and Grayson County are not under this at Rockwall County. But again, when I'm in charge of the world and even just North Texas, I'll put them under a burn ban and you should govern yourself as though a burn ban is in effect for those counties that technically don't have one. 83 and muggy tonight will hit 106, a very hot day tomorrow. The next 10 days, I don't have any record high temperatures in my forecast. Any new record highs will touch some record highs several days out of that next 10. So this week, 105 to 106. Next week, highs 102 to 106. And any weather pattern change, I don't see one anytime soon. We do start to trend uh, lower with our temperatures. Instead of 105, we'll go from like 105 to 102 to 101, maybe 100 as we head into the last week of August.